Now we have seen that a circular current loop has a circular current loop has a field of field okay on the axis which for the given direction of current in the loop is is in is in this direction right is in this direction and its magnitude is given by mu naught i I, if, if this radius is if this radius is r mu naught i r square upon mu naught i r square upon 2 r square plus x square to the power 3 upon 2 right now let us try to understand what happens when x is very very greater than r right so for x very very greater than r what do we have here here i'll have to neglect this r square so that my b becomes my b becomes mu naught i r square upon 2 upon 2 i i i neglect this so so i have x square to the power 3 by 2 which is nothing but x cube right now what is that if if i multiply by pi the numerator and the denominator what do we get I get I get B becoming mu naught I into pi R square okay mu naught into pi R square into I right upon 2 pi x cube right now that is equal to that is equal to mu naught into 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 i into a right into i into a because because area of the loop is is pi r square right so mu naught i a upon 2 pi x cube now if i multiply by 2 the numerator and by two the denominator what do we get we get and and also we should see that i a is nothing but but m right because we are talking about a about a single turn loop right And if you look at the direction of M, the direction of M is is by the right hand rule in the same direction as the as as the direction of B, right? So we see that we see that our our M is also in the same direction, right? Our our M is is in the same direction. Let me make it a bit thicker, okay? So my M is in the same direction as we have the field, right? Okay. Now, if I replace this and say, right, mu naught, it is, it is, it is twice mu naught M. M upon 
4 pi x cube right okay and i can give it give back the vector notation to it so it becomes b becoming becoming 1 upon 4 pi into into 2 mu naught m because m and b are in the same direction upon x cube now let us see what happens if i replace mu naught by 1 upon epsilon naught and m by p okay let's try to do that in this expression so what do we get instead of mu naught i get 1 upon epsilon naught so i get this expression becomes 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 2 so, so 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 okay into 2 into p upon x cube okay and that is the actual field due to an electric dipole correct that is that is actual field due to an electric dipole we get the point correct so so is that okay so what happens if i if i say that i replace mu naught by 1 upon epsilon naught and m by p and b by e we get the actual electric field due to an electric dipole here we are having the the magnetic actual magnetic field due to a magnetic dipole right so a circular current loop is acting as a magnetic dipole in exactly the same sense as an electric dipole was acting in case of in case of the electric field right so so if 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 this holds and and this is my b actual okay if this is my b actual then what is my b equatorial b equatorial b equatorial if 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 i do the same comparison okay what is my e equatorial my e equatorial is is first of all half of this in magnitude so it becomes p upon 4 pi epsilon naught x cube and there is one more thing there is a negative sign here correct so if this is behaving identically then my b equatorial should be should be again the same so it should be half of this right half of this with the negative sign so it is minus mu naught m upon 4 pi x cube Do we get that? What will be the? Direction. The direction is very obvious from here, right? 
it will be opposite to it it will be opposite to it so so in a sense you can say if i have a loop like this if i have a loop like that right then then the field here will be something like that and when it comes here right if if this is my m okay and we just saw that this is the direction of my m if this is the direction of my m then my actual field then my actual field is this and my equatorial field is is this right mm -hmm. so it acts in the direction opposite to this and at the same distance if 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 at at this distance say say at this distance here my b equatorial b b actual is something then b equatorial at the same distance will be half of that magnitude wise it is half direction wise it is opposite correct do we see that and this kind of field we have been told exists for a loop right in 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 the in class 10th and all you have been shown that the the field due to a current loop is something like that it is something like that right there, there cannot be a gap so so it's like that fine the same thing happens in an electric field okay so all so in a sense all magnetic fields are due to a magnetic dipole okay but but there are certain certain points of difference as well what is the point point of difference that though you are able to separate the electric dipoles there there is nothing like a magnetic monopole okay mm -hmm. so there are electric monopoles there are electric monopoles but but no magnetic monopoles it always comes in a pair whatever you do keep on cutting a magnet or do whatever it will always come in a in a so as a dipole it raises one pole ki electrons in the universe ek side pe revolve kar raha hai to bas ek pole hoti hai in what in a magnetic monopole yeah i mean i know that uh, there is there are always two poles but of what in a magnet yeah yeah but but i can't there be just one pole how can there be jo electron jo hai wo ek side pe hai to bas revolve electrons revolving in one direction hold on hold on hold on hold on electrons say moving in this direction let us say i have electrons moving like that looking from upward counter clockwise so this is this is like this is like producing a current in this direction in a loop and the moment you have a loop it becomes a dipole so bar magnet baat kar rahe hain bar magnet mein hmm जैसे एक साइड मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट है वो अगर मैं एक एटॉमिक लेवल पे देखूँ इसलिए होता है ना क्योंकि इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एक साइड ढूंढ रहे होते हैं उनके ढूंढने से मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट होता है इसी भी साइड इलेक्ट्रॉन रूम है इफ दे आर मूविंग इन अ लूप दे विल फॉर्म अ करेंट लूप and the moment you have a current loop you have both the poles so 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 you can say that this loop has this as the north pole and this has its south pole right why why because because the magnetic field lines are entering entering this this side of the loop it is not that you have a dipole due to electrons moving in two directions no 
electrons moving in any one direction will be equivalent to a to a current loop and the moment you have a current loop you have a dipole पूछो सर बोलो कि बार मैग्नेट में हां बार मैग्नेट में नो नॉट लूप अभी मैं अटोमिक लेयर पे देखूं तो मैग्नेटिज्म क्रिएट कैसे होता है हम्म कैसे होता है जो ऐसे ऐसे बहुत सारे मैग्नेटिक जो डायपोल्स हैं ना दे आर अलाइंड इन वन डायरेक्शन हम्म हां वेरी स्मॉल मैग्नेटिक डायपोल्स आर अलाइंड इन वन डायरेक्शन बाय द शियर बाय द शियर force of of maybe a very strong magnetic field okay so you tend to align all the magnetic dipoles in one direction and you you kind of have such a material that even after withdrawing the the magnetic field they stay in the same direction so so their effects add up the net dipole moment in one direction which were maybe earlier randomly kind of oriented and giving you say no field at all that adds up to some significant amount of field and and that's what that's what creates that magnetic field so this m small m that we are talking about that may get multiplied by say n which which is a huge number and hence you get a get a very strong very, very strong uh, uh, permanent magnet right fine so we see that there is an equivalence between the electric and the magnetic field okay there is an equivalence between the electric and magnetic field and there are certain quantities equivalence between the electric and magnetic field and and what is that equivalence like that that if you are in the magnetic field you replace all mu not by 1 upon epsilon not you replace all electric fields by uh, the magnetic fields by the electric field and you replace all the magnetic dipoles by the hmm. electric dipoles the formula is still hold okay they are like the like the translational and the rotational equivalences in mechanics right they they work very very well and and we'll see that as we go ahead so what do we mean rotation and translational equivalence rotational and translational equivalence is what we did in class 11th we saw that there is a translational velocity corresponding to that you have a you have an angular velocity if if there, there was right there was, there was a there was an acceleration here there was an angular acceleration here and and as as this was this was dv upon dt this was d omega upon dt right okay so so there was a mass here there was a moment of inertia here so right the the yeah there there is an f is equal to ma here there is a torque is equal to i alpha there it always holds okay get it it will always hold so in a similar manner this equivalence also holds between the electric field and the magnetic field fine okay